All right, so I need to say this right off the bat, okay? If the San Antonio Spurs were to get Trey Young, I don't think it would happen in the middle of this season. There's two separate things that I wanted to go over, but that is definitely something I wanted to at least say because I think some people are getting a little confused on when I think that this would happen. Uh, I, I More than likely, to make a Trey Young deal work, or at least in my opinion, it would be more than likely a three-team trade. I don't know if we would necessarily have enough as far as picks we do, but Atlanta Hawks, they've been adamant in the past that they want some type of like star player. So I don't know if that's the case now, um, but more than likely when the season's over and teams are kind of seeing where they're at, teams that came up short, then they'll be willing to get more involved and our, our chances would increase. But right now, I don't think it would happen. I, I, I just don't. I want some- All right, so this video is going to be a two for, okay? Two for one. We're going to talk a little bit about what Kevin O'Connor had to say and also what, uh, what, oh my gosh, what, what, uh, DeMarcus Cousins had to say. I know that's a really weird combo there. Um, so starting off right off the bat, Kevin O'Connor, he said, as good as DeJounte Murray is, the Hawks point guard, the Spurs should be chasing his Trey Young. I, I think this is self explanatory. I don't understand where people were coming from when it comes to DeJounte Murray. I've been very open and adamant about this, okay? Uh, You guys already know I don't think DeJounte Murray at this point in time is a cultural fit. Uh, I think that he's regressed as a player, uh, specifically defensively. Uh, That's one thing that people don't necessarily think about. Uh, I know that when he was with the Spurs, he had a lot of steals, and that kind of conflated a little bit, and people thought um, uh, uh, that, that he was like a really great defender. He was a point of attack defender. No, DeJounte Murray has never been a point of attack defender, and I don't know where that where that came from. Um, so just as far as his fit with Spurs, I don't think it makes sense uh, financially for the Spurs, especially when it comes to uh, the trade kicker. I think he'll be making 30, 34 million. Now, Atlanta Hawks would pay the four million, the extra four million, I believe, a year. Um, but it will still go on our books. So you have to pay the taxes on it. It's, it's a lot of weird stuff going on with that. So you'll be paying a lot. I don't think that he's playing up to his contract or he would be playing up to his contract. And then you you couple that with the fact that I don't think he's a fit at all. And when people say, oh, my God, all these lobs, you know, the people missing lobs. We don't really get that complaint anymore because Spurs have gotten better at it. But uh, with that, DeJounte Murray didn't throw a lot of lobs. I, I don't I don't know why people would think that that would be a th- that that's not. No, if anybody on the Atlanta Hawks team that would fit with us, it would be Trey Young. So I don't know where that came from so that's self-explanatory we can go to the yes see we'll just go to the link i actually didn't read it um all the way through you see if there's going to be a uh paywall maybe not okay so it says the san antonio the san antonio spurs should make a big trade eventually if you ever think about getting back with an x that's what the spurs are reportedly considered right now so what he's talking about is the exploratory interest that the spurs showed in the dejounte murray situation but I don't think, at least from everything that I've seen, I don't think that that actually came from the San Antonio Spurs camp. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They, they, look, it's nothing here. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really care. I, I, I just feel like that's self-explanatory. That if they were to go after a point guard, it would be Trey Young. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. All right, and this. DeMarcus Cousins, this is what he had to say about Trey Young, okay? So it seems like other people as well are kind of pushing him in that direction of, dude, get out, get out of Atlanta. I'm Trey Young. I'm getting out as, as soon as I can. But if you were Trey Young and you heard that most of your team was available to be traded and you know how talented you are, how would you feel? If I'm Trey Young, I get ahead of the curve. The situation I'm afraid of with Trey Young is he'll be he'll remain there too long, and then all of a sudden he becomes the villain. He's the scapegoat. Um, right. I know from experience, and uh, I know how these organizations work. Once things start to crumble, once things start to fail, the blame game starts. It usually starts with the coach first, then it's the players' right. fault, and then on and so forth. So uh, obviously they've moved on from a coach in, uh, in Nate McMillan. They've now brought in Quinn mm-hmm. Snyder, a pretty established guy in this league. The politics come into play, and like I said, mm-hmm. once this thing continues to crumble, it's going to be Trey Young's fault to be the villain. And also the Atlanta Hawks front office, at least from the stuff that we've read, it's quite a bit of turmoil as far as, you know, who's going to make the call. What what was even the DeJounte Murray situation? It was a lot of discourse around not making that deal. uh, But the the owners wanted to make the deal. So it was it was it's pretty bad. Then Mm -hmm. 
that's when they, that whole game starts. So uh, if I'm Trey Young, I'm getting out as, as soon as I can. The instructions say you got to bake the cake for 400 degrees for 40 minutes. That don't mean you can crank it up to 800 and it'll be yeah. done in half the time. That's what happened in Atlanta. They went to the conference finals. Look, they, they had a great playoff. That is exactly what I talk about. Even when it comes to the Spurs, I say the same thing. They, you, you don't want to make the same mistake that the Mavericks have made. You don't want to make the same mistake that the Atlanta Hawks have made. That's why as soon as that deal happened, I was very adamant with saying they overpaid for DeJounte Murray. They rushed this thing. This, this is not going to work at all. Off run, but that regular mm -hmm. season, they were an average team. They were a lower yep. seeded team. And they hit a, a good stride in the playoffs and got to the conference finals. But we knew, all right, y'all yeah, ain't that was... really a conference. It was just, no. you, you had a good run. But then yeah. they behaved like they were that good. And that goes right. from the front office not making the necessary adjustments and additions. And that mm -hmm. goes for even Trey Young. If you remember that next season, he was talking about, yeah, the regular season is kind of boring to us now. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. You're not the Got Warriors cocky. where you've been in the finals five, six years in a row, and you can <laughs> say true. this is boring. The other part of it is exactly what Boogie's talking about. And Boogie, you know yep. it better than anybody. Folks, if the organization is unstable, you can't ask this guy to save it. There you go. Uh, I completely agree with that. So, you know, obviously I have a huge uh, dog in the fight, okay? I I'm going to be very biased here. Um, but at the same time, e e e yeah, I mean, the Atlanta Hawks organization, at least from what I've seen, this is the outside looking in. It's not like we do Atlanta Hawks content here, um, but it seems very dysfunctional. It's just everything that comes out, everything that came out after, right after the DeJounte Murray trade decision, it did not sound like an organization on the same page here on the direction of wh where they're going to go. And at this point, I already know more than likely they're going to try to hold on to their pride they're not going to just you know throw trey young out there and say okay spurs just give us our picks back we're sorry that's not going to happen none of that's going to happen okay they're probably going to hold on to them as tightly as they can and i think what it's really going to have to come down to is trey young with his camp already basically saying it before but trey young asking for a trade and specifically asking to go to san antonio i think that that's the only way um or the best way possible for him to come to san antonio and i'll tell you this right now he has been he has been more open about the san antonio spurs and Wimba Nyama than anybody he's answered more questions uh, pertaining to Wimby Wimby than than anybody else uh in in the league so th this is this has been a constant thing and i would not be surprised if we're his destination he, we're his primary destination uh, but anyways i will get with you guys later man until next time, bye.